Your forecast first for tonight, clear skies, 60 degrees for an overnight low. Winds will be dying down, that little bit of a breeze coming to an end. 60, or excuse me, 90 uh, for a high, 60 the low, 90 the high, sunny, hot again, southwest winds at 5 to 10. So far, we've only hit 89 in Spokane. Be the first day in the 90s in a little while. 86 is our average high, 106. Our record set back in 1934. No precipitation out at the airport. Here is our temperature trend over the next seven days. This white line is average, which is 86. That's as high as that number gets. We are in the hottest part of the year. Our temperatures for the next seven days staying above average, but only in the 5 to 10 degree uh, range. Nothing too far off the mark, but it is going to be warm. 88 right now in Spokane, quite dry with that dew point at 38. Our relative humidity is just 17%. Southwest wind sustained 13, but we are experiencing some gusts up to 20 those will be dying down. It's 89 in Coeur d'Alene with southwest winds at 8. Satellite and radar shows mostly clear skies across the region. Again today, a little bit of moisture coming up from the south, but it is not making it as far north as it has the past few days. 24-hour forecast. I have the jet stream on here as well as the surface features. We'll go through the next 24 hours. We're in a west-southwesterly flow that is bringing up that little bit warmer air, staying dry, keeping the moisture to our south. It may make it as far north as the Blue Mountains, but for the most part, we are stuck in a bit of a weather rut. Overnight lows tonight will be down in the 60s, 50s in some locations. Deer Park standing out once again on the map down in the 40s. Tomorrow's highs in the 80s and 90s once again. It's going to be one of the cooler days of the seven day forecast. As you can see, we are headed up into the mid 90s for the weekend and that's where we're going to stay through next week. I still am not inclined to even add a cloud uh, to this graphic. Uh, just nothing to motivate me to uh -huh suspect that any moisture uh, will make its way in. Occasionally, a higher mid-level cloud may drift through. Alert me immediately. <laughs> yeah. It does. I, I'm missing weather. Uh, well, clear skies uh, for a great ride for you tomorrow. Yes, the ride of my life, scheduled for tomorrow morning with the Thunderbirds oh gosh, elite so cool. uh, F-16 pilots who are in town already. You may have noticed them landing uh, today. They are taking me up mm. on a orientation flight around 10.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, these amazing jets go up to 50 1,500 miles an hour. No kidding. Uh, we're going to try to pull some G's, I hear, wow. and do some rolls wow, wow. and loops and uh, definitely going to be an amazing experience. I'm very excited. I have to be at the Air Force Base at 6.30 in the morning. So You are heeding all their directives, too, about drinking water, making sure you eat before you go up. And, I am uh, doing everything. everything else. And it, it, the, it's a complicated process. Oh, I'm sure it so. is. Good luck. Thank you. We can't wait and to see how that turns out. Of course, I will be sharing on social media yeah. and then back here tomorrow evening yeah. about the experience. All right. All, all right. part of the air show out there this weekend. Can't wait. Thanks a lot.